How you going guys? Welcome back to episode four. So we got an early start to the morning. I forgot the GoPro, so I'm on the iPhone this morning. But we're down a tin now. We're getting tin on the U. We're gonna get it 5%. It's illegal, but it's all right. So we're going dark tint to match the white with the black accessories, like the bull bar and stuff like that. It's gonna look fucking mean. So let these boys do their thing. I'll try and get a few picks and clips along the way and then um, catch his back at the house. Yep. All right, guys, we're back at the house. So I didn't turn the GoPro on. I just wanted to try something out. So what we're doing to break up the gray is we're gonna paint the top of the door trims satin black. So I've already masked one up and just sprayed it to see how it's gonna turn out. So we're gonna break the doors up because when it's all closed, it's all just too much white. I'll show you this side. So I feel like that's too much white. So what I've done is obviously taped up here, pulled the trim out and we've painted this in the satin black. So hopefully that breaks it up a little bit. Um, so I'll wait for that to dry a little bit. And once it's set enough that I can take the tape off, we'll take the tape off, show you guys, show you what it looks like. If it looks good, we'll leave it. If not, we'll get rid of it. Catch you then. All right, so we've got the first one painted. I'm not 110% sure how I feel about it. It might grow on me, but I think it's just because I'm used to looking at it with the white top, so this is it. So that's it now with the painted black around the top of the door. I don't mind it. It definitely breaks it up a lot compared. Looks good with the black tint. I don't mind it. compared to the clean cut white door frame. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what you reckon. So I'm gonna paint the other one anyway, um, and we'll do it. And if I don't end up liking it, I'll just remove it. It's only rattle tin paint, so it'll come back off. But there's a recap on, don't mind the white strip in there, because I'm gonna replace the rubbers. So we'll do it from there. Alright guys, we've got the doors done. I feel like the black just breaks it up. I do like it now that both are done and I've been looking at it enough. I do like it, it breaks it up. Not so white. Nice. So now, I've just sent me misses to go to Super Cheap to pick up the click and collect. We've got some vinyl paint. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> Corona. Sorry, we're, we're not in that stage anymore. COVID. <coughs> COVID-19. Um, so I'm going to start stripping the interior while she's gone. I'm going to get this all out. Floor, dash, absolutely everything. Door cards, you name it. Because all these bits that are white are going to be painted black. And we're going to do black dash with grey accessories all right so you guys will end up seeing it when it's done hopefully i get it all finished today might not get it back in might not get it back in but i, I want to have it painted today it is a bit windy so i'll have to tidy up the garage and do it all in there but anyway for now i'll get you guys on a time lapse inside and um, we'll get to stripping the interior
All right, guys, it's another day. So this has been going on for a couple of days now. I've only been getting bits and bobs done. Um, just sort of been relaxing, hanging out with the family and doing other, a few other things. But um, so last night, last night we got, or well, yesterday, we got the whole interior stripped. Um, got the inside all cleaned out. So cleaned all the doors, all the inside. Got to fix up a couple of little bits in here. Fixed up a weld patch over there. But um, all in all, come up pretty damn good. So, I've got a couple of photos of before and after of um, what it actually looked like. So, I'll put them up now. And then, um, yeah, so we've got the whole interior strip. So, we're going to clean that all out and we're going to get the paint. And hopefully, we can paint it today. We're living out the front on the driveway now. Absolutely everything. The whole interior. The seats are inside. But everything that's going to get painted is all out here. Besides the door cards, I'm not going to wet them because they have got the cardboard in behind them. But um, the roof lining is going to stay grey. The rest of the dash and all the other accessories are going to go black and grey. So we've got uh, just got some vinyl paint. There's some vinyl paint here. we got got uh, satin black. So we didn't want the gloss finish. And then for the grey, we got the light grey. Just so it matches a little better with the car. It's still a bit darker than the car, but it doesn't matter. Chunks all right. So I'm going to get you guys on a time lapse. We'll get this stuff all sugar soaked and cleaned, and then uh, we'll get it out to dry. Once it dries, we get it back in the garage. While it's dry, I'm going to clean the garage so we've got some working space. Um, and then we'll get in there, start painting, and then hopefully we get the interior back in today. So put you on a time lapse. Done the first couple coats on the inside. Still got two more coats to do, and we've got the interior to do. But for now, while the interior is drying, I'll just give you a look. So we've got the inside done. Still got to do the tops of the doors because you're going to see them when the door cards are on. Um, roof line is staying grey. So this is all pretty much done. Just got to do a couple more coats to fix up these little funny bits. But um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty well much done. And it's not going to stay gloss, guys. It is going to settle and go like a satin black. Um, I didn't want the complete gloss. So then if any light gets in here, it just gets too shiny. So yeah, we're going to keep it as a satin. Do a couple more coats. Get onto the interior. All right, guys. Interior has been painted. Still a little bit tacky, that one. But all the surrounds are black. We've got grey highlights. 
grey dash, grey steering cover, grey underbody, grey aircon vents, grey for inside the dash. Bloody windy today, so we've had to do everything in the garage. Here's the dash. It's got that drying up last of it now. So that grey dash insert will go in there. So I really think, I think that grey is going to really set that off. Big difference from the blue. So it's going to look sick when it's all back together. So we'll get this on the back of the tray. Just trying to assemble all the parts so I know what has and has not been painted. So that can sit there. So the inside's done. Inside's all finished. I've just got to do these strips on the tops of the doors because you will see them when the door cards are on. So I've only got to do those left. That's all to do. The rest has been done. So up the sides. You can see I've taken them off, left the roof liner grey because that matches the grey that we got. Um, but yeah, all the rest of it's been done all the way up underneath, all the way under. So I reckon probably another hour or so, we'll be reassembling the interior. Woohoo! So it looks. Alright, guys, today is another day. I know, sorry I've been a bit slow with the episode, but I've had a lot of stuff to do at the moment. So, just an update. Interior's all been painted. All the insides of the cab anyway. Doors have been done so when the door cards go back on, they'll be nice, you won't see any of the white. So that's all been done. So, now I'm gonna get you guys in a time lapse and we're gonna start putting the interior back together. We're gonna start with the dash, we'll go back up. So we'll get you on a time lapse up on the window so you can see this view like that. Yeah, you can't see much, but too bad, that's where it's going because the windows are too dark to video it from the outside. So we'll get you set up. I'll start whipping the dash back in. We'll start getting it back together and then um, see how far we get. is all done. I broke this, so I need to replace it. Um, 
yeah. All the doors and everything's done. All in behind the cab's been painted. So that's all pretty much it. Done all the floor lining too. That's all done. So everything's been done. Go down, give the car a wash, and then um, try and get a better view for you when we get down. <laughs> Guys, that's a wrap up for episode five, four, five, four. I think four. This has been going on for too long now. Anyway, that's a wrap up. It'll do us. I'm going inside to eat some macas. See you on the next one. Yep.